Bring him Briggs. Right away, sir. Briggs, I have some bad news. Your comrade Talbot has just been shot down in his attempt to destroy the Zydeb command base on the lunar surface. So I heard, sir. And as you know, here on Earth, we are coming under increasingly heavy pressure from the Zydab command, and we have to destroy this base as soon as possible. Will you accept this mission? Sounds like I have no choice. What have I got, sir? Well, take a look at this. It's the very latest in design technology. It's the Z-5 Lunar Hover Fighter. It's dilithium powered and never been into action before. Has it been debugged? Oh, yes. And you'll have at your fingertips the very latest weaponry. And you'll need it, because the Zydabs will throw everything they've got at you. Well, let's go outside onto the deck and have a look at it. OK, Briggs. You've got two main forms of weapon, lasers and missiles. And what you've got to do is to make your way through to the command base headquarters. Now, to do that, you must penetrate the three successive Zydab defense zones. How will I know I'm heading in the right direction? You have an advanced navigation system. You see lines coming towards you. And when they're coming directly towards you, you're bang on course. Here, try the lasers. If I recall, these are short-range weapons, iridium-powered. Quite correct. These missiles are a long-range <laughs> weapon system with a radar homing duodec warhead. What do I use those for? Well, they can take out the Zydab hover fighters. Now let's have a look at what the enemy is going to be throwing at you. First of all, they've got DAB tanks, robotically controlled. And they've got Yitzan missiles, which are susceptible to laser strikes. And they're also using Zyd hover fighters. And they're very high powered, but they have low maneuverability and are susceptible to missile or laser strikes. And there are also aerial mines containing proximity fuses, so don't get too close. And they explode on detecting your Z-5. Can they be knocked out with a laser? Yes. To reach the command base, you'll go through three different zones. How will I identify each zone? Well, as you go through a zone, your hover fighter screen display will change color. I see. Now, the command base itself is heavily defended and may require many strikes. When you get nearby, you'll find the Zydabs have missile silos and these are self-activating. Again, if you go too close, you'll be destroyed. Thanks. And you can knock these out with laser strikes. And what is this knob, sir? That is your cigar lighter. <laughs> now, your screen will show your shield status at all times. It will show your hull temperature, and it will show you your fuel. And if you read your manual closely, it will tell you precisely how these operate. Have you got that, Briggs? Yes, sir, I think so. I've got the lasers, I've got the missiles, and I've got some radar which locks onto the plasma output of Zydab hover fighters. I must reach the command base, which is protected by DAB tanks, Zyde hover fighters, and aerial mines and missiles from the missile silo. Oh, and one final thing, sir. About Talbot, how did he die? Well, the fact is, he only had a C-64. Now, I'm not ordering you, but uh, for the sake of mankind, will you accept this mission?